All right, hey. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Tropic Isle Living's pet scientist. <laughs> Some people say I'm a mad scientist. That's not really true. Occasionally I'm annoyed, but most of the time I'm just misunderstood. Boy, if you don't get... But hey, uh, we get a lot of questions in email. People are asking about ingredients. They're asking about how stuff works. What's the difference between this and that and the other. So we thought we would start doing a video sequence with a scientist. We call it Ask a Scientist. So hey, today what we want to talk about is this question we get all the time because we have an ingredient on the labels of some of our hair foods and it's called steric acid. And people are like, whoa, acid, you can't put acid on my head. It's like, no, 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 hold on. Look, it's, it, look, look, all of the plant oils, all of those things are called acids. They're called acids because chemists like to make everyone confused, okay? And I, I'm guilty, I like a big word once in a while. But look, steric acid is extracted from plants. Okay? There's all kinds of different things that are extracted from plants, and if it's an oil, it's always called an acid because it's got a little acid group over here and it's got this long chain of carbon molecules that comes out sticking out from it. And that's what makes it magic, is because this long chain of carbon molecules and your body needs them. If you don't have essential fatty acids, ooh, you're the word again, acid. If you don't have essential fatty acids in your system, you don't have cell membranes, your nerves don't work, your muscles don't work, your body falls apart, it's really ugly. So now, Tropical Living, we're Jamaicans. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I know I don't look Jamaican. I'm the, look, I'm the diversity hire, okay? Work with me here. Got <laughs> But we use a lot of black castor oil from Jamaica. And black castor oil is a unique fatty acid. This stuff is the only place that you're gonna get ricinoleic acid. And what's cool about ricinoleic acid, when you put it on your skin, it's absorbed, and then your body says, hey, I kind of recognize that. That kind of looks like prostaglandin. Sorry, that's another chemistry word. But the good news is, it's anti-inflammatory. And it really helps with anything, whether you're worried about, you know, I'm losing my hair, that's a thing that happens to guys like me. Or you're just worried about getting wrinkles, or you've got a scar, whatever it is, ricinolic acid is your friend. But there's a lot of fatty acids. So whenever you're looking at a vegetable oil, whenever you're looking at a plant oil, it doesn't care if it comes from avocados or olives, maybe it comes from soybeans, it's a fatty acid. And steric acid is just one of them. It comes from soybeans. That's where we get our steric acid. So when you're looking at our label and you see steric acid, we have to put that on there because the FDA says, you yeah, gotta call it steric acid. We can't call it, you know, extracted soybeans. So anyway, I hope this helps. Send us your questions by email. What we're decided to do is every week I'm gonna answer a question. So I need good questions. Thank you, thank you. Everyone, stay blessed.